Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Free Spirits. In this episode, we're going to look at some of the examples of fictional SLEs that we thought illustrate particularly well certain peculiarities of this type. Oh, she wanted you killed, huh? He didn't say that. No, but it's an interesting thought. Yes, isn't it? Look, it's okay, honey. I'll get you off the hook. Tom, Juan Amador was killed by a little pig pen neighbor of yours named Kelsey. Juan caught him branding the wrong calf. Is that true? Yes. You can come out from under the bed now, bub. Your wife and I took care of it. Can I go now, chief? Even in this short scene, it's obvious that Kid Richard has a combating attitude and a physical presence, as well as a tendency to claim what he likes for his own in a straightforward manner. Lies! No! I gave my Peter word. Peter Pan accepts a challenge of Captain Hook, who calls Peter a coward, to fight fairly and not to use his ability to fly. He doesn't break his word, even when the odds are all against him, as breaking the word would mean that he loses the game they set out to play, and would prove he is in fact a coward and is unable to assert his dominance. <laughs> О, я понимаю. Но я знаю одно. Вы предпочли Мансаро, стали его женой и носите его фамилию. In this scene, heartbroken Count Debussy is unable to comprehend the social norms that forced his beloved Diana de Meridor to marry Count de Montsoreau. He's completely oblivious to them. Too good for us, eh? You <laughs> Peter Pan provides a lot of examples of vulnerable fi. Being a kid hasn't acquired any fi patterns yet. So his vulnerable fight is glaring. Doc, you can't. You can't. Doc, you can't. Look, you can't even stand up. You're gonna die for sure if you go out there. I'm gonna die. At least let me die with the only friend I ever had. In this scene, Doc Holliday, who just had a tuberculosis attack, is told he can't go fight by his friend's side, that he, it would kill him if he did so. But he'd gladly risk his life in the name of the feelings for his friend. When they talk for the first time, Bussy reveals to Diana that he took an oath to devote his life to her, the moment he saw her. <coughs> will you listen to me for just once? Will you get up to that hospital in Denver? At this rate, you can't last more than a couple of months. You crazy and give up this winning streak? <laughs> Throughout the movie, Doc, despite being half dead with tuberculosis, ignores and even mocks any health advice. In the last scene of the movie, he laughs off the suggestion of improving his health in a hospital. Послушай, Жером, да. ты знаешь, мне кажется, что мое выздоровление пойдет быстрее, если я не останусь здесь с тобой. А буду выходить на улицу. Да-да, навещать друзей. Жером. Ну, не знаю. Что? Если вы не сядете на коня и не проскачете 10 лье... Проскочу. Similarly, Count Debussy, having just been injured in a sword fight, cannot stand the idea of having to lie in bed to recover and gets up straight away, joking that he will recover faster if he jumps on a horse and gallops for hours. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. Oh, say, honey, you best keep your things packed. I'll be coming back for you, most likely.